Stop memorizing hundreds of lead code problems and instead focus on the patterns to help you ace any interview. Today we're looking at binary search. You should use binary search when your input is sorted and you need to find a number in log n time. When you need to find the insertion position in a sorted list. When you handle duplicates in sorted arrays. And finally, when you need to search in rotated sorted arrays. Let's take a look at classic binary search for a refresher. If we want to find a target, we use left and right pointers to calculate a mid. And if the mid value is smaller than our target, then we move the left pointer. If it's greater than the target, we move the right pointer until we converge to an answer in log n time. However, what if we want to find the leftmost occurrence of a number that's duplicated, in this case 4? We have to be clever with how we compare the left, right, and mid values such that we converge to an answer at the end of the algorithm, once again in log n time. There's also another use case when you want to search in a rotated sorted array. So we have 4, 5, 6, and 7, and 0, 1, 2. In this case, once again, you need to be very clever with how you compare the left, right, and mid pointers until you rely on an answer. If you'd like to learn every single lead code pattern that you absolutely need to know for all your tech interviews with coding templates and lead code questions to solve, be sure to check out my blog at blog.codeinmotion.io. If you'd like to see the Blind75 list in animated format, be sure to check out my YouTube channel.